Movies Photo Illustration by Slate. Photos by Netflix and Avon. The newest adaptation of Daphne du Maurier's 1938 novel Rebecca, which arrives on Netflix on Wednesday, follows the book's unnamed female narrator, identified in the movie credits only as Mrs. de Winter, her married name, as she meets and weds a wealthy widower in Monte Carlo. While living at his gorgeous English coastal estate Manderley, she becomes consumed with jealousy of her new husband's deceased first wife, the titular Rebecca, who seems to have been universally worshipped by all who knew her. Below, we break down all the ways the film, directed by Ben Wheatley, compares to Du Maurier's moody bestseller, including how its famous plot twist unfolds. Needless to say, spoilers ahead. Maxim de Winter in the film, the male romantic lead is played by Army Hammer, who's extremely handsome in a standard issue hunk kind of a way, which is very different from how the narrator describes Maxim in the book. He belonged to a walled city of the 15th century, a city of narrow, cobbled streets, and thin spires, where the inhabitants wore pointed shoes and worsted hose. His face was arresting, sensitive, medieval in some strange inexplicable way. This medieval-looking Maxim exudes aloof control. When the two first have lunch together, the narrator describes him as having a quality of detachment. As readers, we come to believe that De Winter's motivations are suspect. He is, like many romantic heroes, powerful, inscrutable, and intensely attractive, but maybe not exactly good. A combination of qualities that, as Laura Miller points out in her review of the new movie for Slate, the more conventionally good-looking Hammer struggles to convey. Army Hammer is also only three years older than Lily James, the film's female lead, whereas in the book Maxim is 42, nearly twice the heroine's age. I suppose you are young enough to be my daughter, Maxim says to the narrator when their relationship shifts from the platonic realm into something more. This age gap is not a small matter, it provides much of the drama in this couple's relationship, and it feels glaringly absent in the film. The narrator aka Mrs. De Winter, Lily James is the kind of radiant young woman you can imagine a wealthy middle-aged widower fixating upon, were he to encounter her by chance at a Monte Carlo hotel. The novel's narrator, on the other hand, has unremarkable looks, into which she puts very little work. She describes herself as a raw ex-schoolgirl, red-elbowed and lanky-haired. At first, you think Du Maurier's narrator must believe herself to be uglier and less put together than she actually is, but then comments from external observers confirm that her hair is, indeed, lank, and her clothes unsuitable. The film sticks James in some baggy frocks, but she's just plain beautiful, and that's hard to hide.